What is going on guys? My name is Ron back again from Ron Reviews here with another episode of Reaction to Azure Land. This is episode 8. Intersection, hold you, never let go. Now, the last episode we got was a really just long, drawn-out battle, and I've been absolutely loving it. And we got to see Enterprise basically go into her other mode, where it seems like her eyes look similar to that of the Sirens. Um... And apparently this is going, this is, uh, I believe, N uh, Exit Price, or some people are saying, or Code G, or something like that, or NT. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't played the, those events. Speaking of events, the collab is going on, and I've been training up the JoJo girl, the one that, like, it, like is hold, uh, like is arranging her glove. I think her name is Mio, and then it has that freaking bird thing behind her. It's, it's the aircraft carrier, and I've been, <laughs> I'm trying to level her up. I haven't been playing too much because, you know, work. Um, and speaking of work... It's been really busy because it's Thanksgiving. Thank you guys so much. I'm really thankful for all of you guys. So yes, happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate. And even if you don't, I just want to say I'm really thankful for you guys for sticking me around. I know I don't post up a lot of content. In fact, I usually only post two to three videos a week um, or two to three other content a week. And I do apologize for that. But unfortunately, you know, life, unfortunately for me, is way more important than YouTube. And with work... It provides me, you know, a paycheck, which is, I, I kind of needed. But yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for sticking around with me. And hopefully, eventually, things will calm down for us. And I can actually start working on original content, which I always say I want to do. But I just never actually get the time to actually just sit down and actually do it. But anyways, guys, I'm ready to jump into this episode. So without further ado, let us jump in to episode 8 of Azure Lane. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. Chris volume just a little bit. Okay. That should be a little bit. That should be loud enough. Oh, it's snowing. Everything's iced. Yeah, because we saw Kaga get hit and then Akagi got completely swallowed up. We are also getting a lot more um, interaction with Hornet than you do in the game, really. Hornet kind of gets really sidelined, I believe, after the first, what, chapter? And intro. If I can, you know, turn off the music. Because, you know, I don't want to get hit with that. Of all the things that would get hit, it's the openings and intros. Openings and closings. <laughs> I had to think about that one. But yeah, as I said, um, I've been thoroughly enjoying the game. I'm not as far as I should be. But, again, it's a gacha game that I put, I do not put priority in. In fact, in terms of gacha games, I put, I put um, Azure, uh, not Azure Land, Epic 7 above Azure Land. Although Azure Land has actually taken over, I would say, the other um, one in which I... I it used to be uh, Girls Frontline was my most played and then it was Fire Emblem Heroes. Then it was Jagali Lost. Then it was Azure Lane. And then once Epic 7 came out, Epic 7 jumped to the top. Although, granted, I am getting a little bit burned out. And mm, I'm not going to get into Epic 7 because there's some things that are going on in the game and I'm not too a fan of. But who knows? Honestly, Epic 7, if it gets popular enough, especially in Japan, now that uh, Epic 7 has been launched in Japan, we might get we might see an anime. And I know it's like, why, why are you talking about other things when this is epic, this is Azure Lane? Well, I can talk about what I want to talk about. But yeah, it's a little tangent. But yeah, Epic 7, I mean, Azure Lane has been fun, and I've been really, I really want to knock out this collab as fast as possible. Um, so I'm guessing tomorrow, uh, when I have the day off, I'll probably spend a couple hours playing the um, collab. How is their hair not moving? I know me.
Chicken Leafy. It's okay, your friends in my base. I don't think that was Ayanami. Oh. Uh, was that Yudachi? I keep on forgetting. I always still like her, like, <laughs> still monotone. Oh, hey, Belfast from the Ferrothaski. I still have always loved, um, Leifi's, like, monotone voice. By the way, Belfast, I just got your skin. Took me a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's see. Enterprise in front of a Sakura Blossom tree. Akag Akagi and Kaga when they're younger? I mean, that's definitely Akagi and Kaga. That's yeah, a little bit creepy. Is that Akagi? Sounds like Akagi. No, that's a Magi. I also don't have Amagi, but apparently she's a really big fan favorite, especially on the English servers. Or global servers, I don't know what it is. Kaka. Oh, okay. Wait a second. For a split second, I didn't recognize that was Yamashiro. You lost. No, they're not going to kill her off, are they? They're not going to kill off Akagi. Everyone just... No. They're, no, they're going to tell us that they just disappeared, right? I'm assuming. Jesus, there's so many characters I don't realize, recognize. Okay, so they're not saying anything. All right. I was going to say, I was like, they're not going to kill off Akagi.
That was cool. I'll give that. Gotsky. Ah! Wait, Fubuki? Is it Fubuki? Maybe it was because that Akagi is rendered um, unable to act since she's gone, um, or at least I guess you can say decommissioned right now. As of right now, um, perhaps that cut the uh, connection to the sirens because I know she uh, Akagi is directly like connected with them with the whole. Her trying to bring back a Magi. For what? Fraternizing? Yeah. I was going to say fraternizing with the enemy. Enterprise? No. Deception Shinken? Yeah, Belfast is going to continue to look for Enterprise. Yep. It's funny, the critic in me is like, you can definitely tell where they're cutting the animation. Because it's the places to, yeah. What was that, Nag did Nagato tell her that? kind of true I do apologize for, like, not talking too much and, like, I'm paying attention. Because, like I said, this is purely original content, right? This isn't based off of any of event. I don't think so. It's definitely not based off the main storyline. Otherwise, I would have at least remembered that. <laughs> and I know there's, like, a lot of dead space that I do, but, yeah.
They're doing a lot of close-up to the eyes. Very smart way to hide budget. Save budget, sorry. Again, I, I do apologize for bringing that up constantly. It's just something I'm noticing. I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm just noticing it. Definitely not a bad looking show because it seems like uh, although the joke is that a lot of people are uh, they're putting more of their animation budget in the actual ships, not the ship girls. She's basically been conflicted this entire time. Oh. <laughs> I like that description on the bottom left right there. There's a Kagi. Hmm. All right, so I, we all knew that the sirens were going to be the final boss. But I wonder if it's going to force them to join forces at the end of the day. We'll see, because Iron Blood is not in here, even though they've shown themselves. Although Prince, o uh, Prince Eugen is there, I believe. Oh, she was. I don't know if she, like... I haven't seen her, though, in a while. Ah, oh, come on, San Diego. You're built for that kind of stuff. You're meant to take down planes. <laughs> if you think about it, the two of them are basically completely keeping them at bay. She's just standing there menacingly. Oh, did she just a worried her? She just a worried her without saying it. Hmm. So Shokaku's out. Hey, Enterprise is kind of scary. Your town. They look like your town. She's remembering, yeah.
white flags. That's a car. No, that's okay. I lied. Keep forget. Every time I see a red flame with the uh, um, airplanes, I. Oh, she actually hit Enterprise. Didn't even phase her though. Wait a second. That looked like your town. Cause I, hold on. So she's going into the void. And they're actually going after her. Oh, they're going. Oh, okay, okay. They're trying to get her before she jumps out. Jumps through. <laughs> okay, that was kind of cool. That was pretty good. Okay, I'll give her that. But okay, so I need I need to I need to look that back. <laughs> I need to look that up. I need to look back again because it looked like there was your town in there really quickly. The person who launched that aircraft. I need I'm I'm gonna go back and look because I just I just want to make sure. Oh, you're not gonna let yourself go, are you? Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. Hold on. All right. So I'm gonna go. I, I no okay I'm gonna go wrap up my thoughts really quick before I reset it okay, um. So again, my main theory crafting uh for the entire thing was that the sirens would definitely be the uh, main bad guy at the end of the day. But we still have yet to see Iron Blood really show up outside of the first couple of uh, the first few episodes. Um. <sighs> We do know that points Prince Prince Eugen has always been like the contactor between both uh, the Iron Blood and the Sakura Empire. So I, I, I am curious. I am curious as to see where this is going to go. Again, they said that Orochi from Project Orochi is going to be coming back now. So main bad guy. Again, I'm only assuming this is going to be 12 to 13 episodes, so we have four to, uh, five to six episodes left, I believe. All right. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, four to five episodes. I do apologize. Um, so I am curious as to see where that's going to go, in all honesty. I don't think we're going to get an ending. No, we're not going to get an ending. Okay. So. On. Really quickly... I want to fi find right here hold on Oh, okay. It looked like your town simply because the hair's down and I thought she was on the water. That's why I was like, wait a second, she was on top of a, a thing. Okay. Apologize. Granted, Yorktown and Enterprise look very similar without the cap. So, 
That looks like Yorktown. Hold on. Let me show you. That looks like Yorktown. But remember, her hat's off. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> All right, but yeah, anyways, guys, that's it for this episode. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, not as good as the last episode. I think episode seven and one are probably my two favorite episodes so far. Episode seven because it was just a giant war, and that was cool. Uh, we'll see what happens. Episode nine, I'm going to feel like Orochi is... I, I feel like Orochi is going to be at least awakened or summoned somehow during that episode, whether it be the end or not of that episode. We'll see what happens. But yeah, and then I'm trying to figure out what is going to cause them to fight together because I it, it kind of has to feel like that is the point that it's going to go later on that they have to fight with each other. And I am curious. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the episode in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.